Right. I've just been through Piney Sykes Farm. Because the weather is so awful and grey, and it's quite getting colder, there's no hint of blue sky. And the actual air smells polluted. Now I was supposed to go that way, which I do really want to do, up and along the top on the other side. But I've now decided that I'd rather leave it. So I'm going down through Long Sheepfield. I'm going to go part, back down round um, the old quarry down here, Black Rock. I mean, I am disappointed with myself that I won't do it, but I haven't brought the right gear. All right, I've got an umbrella and one little light coat. But the weather has changed. And I go by the weather. I mean, I, I bet you anything, I'll get across this field. I can always do it in reverse, by the way. There's nothing to stop me if I get up here and the sun comes out, doing it that way round. But I did want to go that way. But there are, there, until I, I've still got a chance, I've changed my mind, if blue sky and sun. Now, it doesn't normally stop me, like I said. But I felt a, a little hint of, a couple of drops of rain. And I thought, wow, I, they said it wouldn't rain, and, and it, would only, it would only be a splattering. Not until two o'clock, but it's only about half eleven. So basically, it's going to be a short, much, much shorter walk. Um, I should be going down Black Rock and up the other side of the gorge and walk down the gorge over that over there. So it won't be a couple of hours walk as, as opposed to several hours. No sign of the sheep. Might have moved them on. Like I said, if by the time I get down the bottom um, here and the weather sort of changes, I might uh, go and walk it that way round. There's still a chance to do that. But at the moment, I haven't decided. You can go it, I can do it either way, see? I can do it either way, but if you go that way, You've got a hell of a climb on the other side to get back up the hill. It's a big climb. I like doing that walk anyway when it's in sunny. Really, I, I like. I, I don't know. It's um. It's a lovely little walk. I'm sure I'll be able to fit it in again, even if I've got to wear warmer clothing. I must have taken the sheep out of here. That's the right down the bottom sheltering. I see some horses over there. I see some horses over there. That's unusual, isn't it? Let's zoom in. Yeah, some horses. One. Two, three, four. Four horses. Cheddar gorges over there. So I'm going that way. I haven't done it for a while that way. So I just, what I do, I just adapt. Um, they've deceived me with the weather again. Because they said it would be sunny until about two o'clock. And I thought, yeah, that would give me a chance to do that side. <sighs> you know, and then I'd be on the turn. But as it is, it hasn't, me, it hasn't allowed me to do that. So I'll be doing a Cheddar Gorge walk. Slightly extended from what other people are doing, because otherwise you get tied up with all the grockles walking that route over there. <sighs> Yeah, I tell you, there's something peculiar about this mist. I'm wondering whether Iceland's volcano's gone up again. It smells 
polluted. I should probably put my mask on. Yeah, I've made the right decision. I felt more spots then. I've made the right decision. Right, over and at. Right. I've been taking the odd picture of trees today because there's something very strange going on. This looks more like wind, a winter scene. The, there's no way the trees leave, lose their leaves this early. It's only the first day of autumn. Something's happened and a lot of the trees, look there, there, that one's fading over here. Look, none of them got their leaves. Now what this means is, without their leaves, they can't make enough food for the winter. So a lot of them are going to have to really rely on what stores they've got. There's a whole set here with no leaves on them. I'm a bit concerned. I am. I've decided to come over this side and walk by the wood this way and the sheep aren't out. They're not in here. They've been taken out already. There's a raven. Coring. I'm just going to walk this side for a change. They know there's pasture. They know there's doom. Sign of death, isn't it? They're all calling. They're all calling. I've never followed this path before. Like I say, there's a lot of trees. Look at that one there. No leaves on it. Look at these. Dead, dead. Let's get over a bit closer so we can actually see in the wood. There's something very, very odd going on. Yeah, there's something very wrong. Look at those trees there, no leaves. I'm going to find videos, if I can, of this exact time of year. Because something looks where they were nice and green and healthy. Look at this, this is Longwood. Look at the state of the, look at the state of the trees. No, the leaves that are left are very... They look so unhealthy, don't they? For this time of year, it's only just started. See, we had a terrible August. We've had some terrible storms. Um, really bad. I mean, I can... I'm thinking about the sandstorms are near where I live. Um, I've, I've never known it as bad as that since in 12 years. Looks like a hair, doesn't it? Probably isn't. It's probably just a bit of thistle sticking up like that. Yeah, something very strange going on, I think. All these trees look like it's winter. This is what you see. This is what you see when winter's coming, when winter's here, at the end of autumn, sort of November, not, not the start of autumn. This is because of the weird conditions. This is weird, this bloody greyness. And it smells, it's got a smell to it. It ain't just grey and a wet mist, it's flipping pollution. Grace knows what I'm inhaling. But look into that wood, which is normally lovely and vibrant and green. 
Look at this, look at this poor soul. Got a leaf on it. I can't believe it. I've got a video it. Yes, the shrubs as well. I don't particularly want to walk round Longwood today, but I can look in from here. I can just see from what's ahead of me. Normally, you get a gradual change in colour before it start, everything starts looking dead. You get the autumn colours when it's not happening. They're going straight from being fresh and green to looking like they're dead. Because um, you've got to remember chlorophyll is needed for photosynthesizing, absorbing sunlight. And the yellow is still a type of chlorophyll, which still allows a little bit of um, photosynthesizing. Something, something it right. I did notice in Wilbury Woods, I thought it was um, because they've been clearing a lot, the trees have given up. But to be quite honest, it's, it's not. Something strange is happening. Something strange. I mean, look at that tree there. Look, not a leaf on it. Look at that one. And as we go along, look, no leaves. I'm sorry, but it's something unusual. People come in. Marchers. That means people that just... Right, I'm going to turn off for a minute.